inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now and on the mound for Tampa Bay in this one. Zach Eflin. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, Leading he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming field. out of the same arm Parker. slot, the same tunnel, Meadows. and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Parker oh. Meadows, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Left-hand batter waits. Popped up first base side. Diaz moves under it. Makes the grab one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. One down, base is empty. And that's outside, and it's one and one. The other way, and that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. Oh, the throw is over his head. And he'll pull into second safely. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Man, it's second with one away. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Strike one. Righty to the plate. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly. Gets it there in time, though. And they do get the second out of the inning. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And here is Kerry Carpenter. That's Up and ball. in, and it's 1-0. Oh. And the right-hander deals. Oh. And another ball. Two balls, no strike. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 3-0. Mark Canna up next for the Tigers. Here's a 3-0. Swing and a miss. Three balls. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. In time, got him, and that'll do it. Tigers leave one. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Tropicana Field, and our pitcher in this game, Eric Skubal. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move. You know, 
it's not necessarily his go to primary pitch but he does mix it in when he needs it he's just got to make sure that it's not flat otherwise it's going to get hit hard so look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play a ground ball something like that to get out of an inning change it up for a hitter also get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone especially late in and at bat and a base hit Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Lau at the plate. They say you win. No ball. One strike. Diaz gets his lead at first with nobody out. Fastball in for a strike. Oh, a two down. Got it by him for the K. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Kicks and deals. To first, might be two. Throws to second oh. for one. Back to first, and it's over his head. And oh no, it's out of play. Just a terrible throw there. Well, he hung in there at second to get the out, but the return throw to first was way offline. And I have to think the runner coming in the second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play, but because the batter moves up past first, he does get charged with the throwing error right there. Isaac Paredes now. And a foul ball. Two outs and one in scoring position. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. And there's a foul ball. Oh and two now. Just no, missed. It's a good take. One ball. Two straight. Man on second, two down. Two and two. Smash to the left side. Baez fires over to first. That ends the inning. The Rays strand just the one. Scoreless after one. Back here with my pal Ziggy. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mark Canna. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Check swing. Did he go? Oh, yes, he did. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Siri in position. And it's caught for the out. That exists. And now the rookie second baseman, Colt Keith. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, that gets through.
Couldn't have timed that, it up that, any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, yeah. there's a lot of base hits For up sure. the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Gio oh. Urshela in the box now. No balls and a strike. Man at first, one away. Oh. And there's a ball. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two out. Javi Baez digs in right side. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 1. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Keith leads off first with two down to the inning. The shortstop takes a ball. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Not close with that one. Two and two. Line drive. And it gets down for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Batting nine. The catcher number. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jake Rogers. That's in there, and that is strike one. Two on, two outs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The 0 2. Struck him out looking. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now in Tampa Bay, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Josh Lowe. Scoogle back to work. And that's outside. Ball one. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Dives and makes the catch. That's why it's so important to anticipate the pitch going through the zone. He's on the balls of his feet, able to quickly react, make a diving catch, and complete the play. Tremendous job from the hot corner. Harold Ramirez at the dish. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty just missed. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. And this place is rocking. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. It can be pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2 0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. The hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. And now it's Jose Siri. In the air to left center, Meadows in position. He's got it. There's two away. Batting eight, the shortstop. Jose Caballero, the next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because they're certain. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. The Rays kick off the scoring with a solo bomb. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Top half of the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Parker Meadows. Parker Meadow. The right-hander back to work. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. And that just misses. Chopper right side and he picks it up in foul territory on the ground to third oh great stop gathers and throws and he gets him nicely done my goodness singing that was a great diving stop and maybe even a better throw yeah, this out is all about athleticism. I mean, this guy did a great job knocking it down on the dive, but he doesn't get the out without the cannon of a throw. That was just impressive all around. Here's Riley Green. That's Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, no strike. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That one drilled left field. Back there. It's gone over the left field wall. He made him pay for that one, and we're all square. It's 1-1. Is a cutter away kind of works like a slider you've got to stay on it let it travel a little bit and then get your arms extended really good piece of hitting right there digging in Spencer Torkelson swing and a miss it's 0-1 
One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Drops into the glove. And there are two outs. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Carpenter in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch is outside. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now batting the left fielder. Mark Canna. Here's Mark Canna. That one fouled off. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Fights it off. You'll see another. Owen Chu now. Line drive. And that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. First and second, two down. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Keith. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch misses. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Yes. And there's the strike. Bounce to the right. Lau. In plenty of time to first. They limit the damage here. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. All even now at 1-1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the catcher for the Rays, Rene Pinto. The lefty fires. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Here's the 0-2. That one missed. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Usually when you see several pitches, you're going to get at least one that you might be able to do something with. But they didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there. And really, they just used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down on strikes, but not a single pitch was actually in the strike zone. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. A little bit low. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. And another ball. Three balls. Two strikes. 
the pitch. And that's Take too high, eight. ball four. Now that the second baseman. One gone runner at first. And now it's Brandon Lau. Struck out on just three pitches last time. On the ground, two ball. Over to Baez. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing across here this half. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, here's Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. And the right hander back to work. On a line, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Now Hits against a firm front side. Ball. And the hands there. just continue to Fine. carry through the middle of the field. Go ahead, run on base. And next to hit for Detroit, Javier Baez. One for one with a single so far. And fouled off. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. On the first in time. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Jake Rogers will hit next. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground, a short. In the hole, jump throw, yeah. third out, and that ends the frame. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. Ready to go, Ready to go bottom four. The and now, Randy or Rosarena. The wide to kick the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Here comes a pitch. Oh, Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze it. Oh. Next offering in the dirt. The count now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. A wind in the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Meadows settles underneath it, makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Now batting, third baseman. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes, grounded out his first time. And a foul ball. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, and a good eye nice. there. The 
pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Stays alive. One down. Base is empty. Got him swinging. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Stepping in, Josh Lowe. Two outs, space is empty. That one not close. And it's a ball and a strike. That to right. Green going after it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Ready now for the fifth inning, and here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Well, these Tigers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. And that one missing low. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Riley. Go ahead, run on base. Now the number two hitter, Riley Green. He's already homered here in this one. Sliced hard, but foul. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the pitch. That misses the zone. And the count one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Ground ball left side could be two. Caballero to second to Diaz. That's two. Huge sigh of relief right there. Big time pitching to induce the double play. Erase what could have been the go ahead run. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Halfway home. All even. One apiece. Here at Tropicana Field, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the DH, Harold Ramirez. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. 
Well, these Rays definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for them at times. Got him. One out. Jose Siri oh, next, next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And there's a ball. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. That one misses, and that's ball three. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's a strike, three and one. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Three, two now. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. One out, runner at second. Now here is Jose Caballero. First offering and it just misses. Siri leads off second with one gone in the inning. Pickoff throw. Siri dives back in safely. Liner makes the grab two down. Now that the catcher, Rene Pinto. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Struck out swinging his first time. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. What enough. Just no, missed. Oh, it looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. He will score, and the Rays have the lead. It's two to one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Yandy Diaz now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball. No straight. Two outs. There's a strike. Rip to short. They take the force out. That's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show.
All set for the start of the inning. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Going one. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Sean Armstrong preparing to come on if needed. Clevenger warming up as well. Here's your one. And a curve misses outside. In there at the knees for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Snuck the fastball by him. Mark Canna up now for the Tigers. One for two. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. No ball. Wow. One strike. That's not even close to the zone. In the air out towards right center. Siri sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. Up next to the Tiger. The second baseman. Cole. Here's the second baseman. Hmm. Colt Keith. Just missed. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. Right hander kicks deals. In the air, left side. A Rosarena settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Offense held in check there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays two and the Tigers one. Bottom of the six. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Scooble back to work. That one misses. And that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Shelby Miller getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Chafin also throwing. The lefty to 1 0. Right through there for a strike. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Going to have to have a little now more discipline in future at bats. Brandy. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. So up next, Randy or Rosarena. That one's in there. That's strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate oh. discipline there. Now one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Right Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. And that one fouled off. <laughs> Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. And that's outside. Oh. 
Chop to third. Urshela. To first. Rays retired in order. So they make short work of them there. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rays two and the Tigers one. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. Gio Urshela to the plate. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? That's a strike. Usually when a Come pitcher's on. had a One dominant strike. outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. That's well, that's exactly out. what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. That's a strike. Now one and two. And another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and this one's Flair. Takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now it's Javier Baez. What the shortstop takes the ball. Holding on to a one run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Cat like reflexes on that one, makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jake Rogers. Out front and foul to the left side. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. Here we go. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh. And now the count is even. Two outs. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. And now Kevin Cash out of the dugout and ready to make a move to the bullpen. Zach Eflin departs. Gave him a good effort as he exits with a lead. And we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, now, Garrett Clevenger. Number 60, Garrett Clevenger. So the lineup flips over, and now Parker Meadows. First pitch misses. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Rogers, the runner at first with two gone. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. Snap throw to first. Ow! They got him, and that will end the inning. Back here with my pal Siggy, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The lefty fires. That one, one misses. And the count 1 and 2. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball still a one and two count. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw on to Torkelson. He made the pitcher earn that out after a now long at bat. The designated hitter, Harold. Here's A.J. Hinch Harrell. heading towards the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change right here. Tarek Skubal is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Shelby Miller. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 18, Shelby Miller. And next is the designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And it's fouled away. Miller, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. One one. Next offering way off the plate. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. That one, one ran inside, almost got him. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that his stuff is just too good to fail that one at the knees for a strike and he's got deception in his delivery and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters he just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up it gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate even though they know what the velocity numbers are one down base is empty swings through it and that's a strikeout Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On the corner for a stride, and you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Right through there for a strike. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Out of bounce right side. Now the throw to first on the run, and he just beats him to the bag. What a play. Ray's held in check here, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. We're at the top of the eighth, and here's the Tiger leadoff man, Parker Meadows. As the lefty gets to work. Fouled off, he was late. Out to short, Caballero. 
And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Now it's the right fielder, Riley Green. He's already homered in this game. And a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks warming up for manager Kevin Cash. One down, base is empty. And the slider just misses. And another ball. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Spencer Torkelson up next. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're in the top of the eighth. And there's ball four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. So digging in, Spencer Torkelson. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Fought off foul. Kicks and deals. That one clips the outside corner. That is strike two. Here comes a pinch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. And that one almost got him. The pitch. Got him looking. Two away. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Colin Poche. Number 38, Colin Poche. Kerry Carpenter up now for the Tigers. One for three. And yeah, the first offering is not close. And Poche ready to work. That one missing inside. Green off the of first with two away. Swing and a high fly ball to left. The Rosarena moving under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. One left for Detroit, and our score remains 2 1. And welcome and back to the ballpark. The Bottom Raiders. of the eighth. Now up for the Tampa shortstop. Bay, Jose Caballero. And a pitch. There's the strike. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball, one strike. And a one one. And he drops it down the third baseline. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. Moved to first, and he dives back in safely.
the 1 0. And no. that's a little high. Chris, with that distraction and the okay. speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Two and two. Runner at first with no outs here. And there he goes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Now moved to first, and he's back in safely. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One run game, one out, one on. Right handed reliever, runner on the move, pitch is low. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Runner at second here, one gone. Got him looking. Two gone now. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. Lau stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is foul back. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Runner at second, two down. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Runner scores from second as they add on an insurance run. And they lead by two. Got the job done to put him up by two. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Randy Rosarena digs in now. Man at second. That's the ball. Up the middle. Gets it to first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. Rays get an RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Tigers.
Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Pete Fairbanks. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Siri racing over to make the catch. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Key. Oh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swings through that one for strike one. One and one. One down, base is empty. Oop. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Ground ball base now. So a man aboard now with one away. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Gior Shella steps in. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one One of triple digits. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Oh. In the dirt. One strike. Nice job behind the plate there. The tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Righty to the plate. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Tying run at the plate. Got him! And they're down to their last out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So, last chance for the Tigers. And the batter will be the shortstop, Javier Baez. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. On now, Tampa. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders, now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And that's outside. And the count is one and two. Two outs. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch.